Welcome back! In the previous video, we learned how to properly bring in X7 data into TBC. In this video, we'll showcase how to properly utilize the functionalities in TBC to effectively and efficiently use your X7 data. As you may remember, we created panoramas as media files that are located in your project folder as JPEG files which you can view. We also created panoramas to be viewed in each station view. We can see these panoramas by selecting station view and choosing the station we want to view these panoramas from. If you recall, we had five labels from the field. In TPC, these labels will translate to selection sets. You can see these selection sets by opening up Selection Explorer. Here, we can select each selection set and see the objects that are grouped under each of them. One of the best things we can do with selection sets is filter which specific selection sets to be shown. We can do this using the View Filter Manager. There are three different scenarios in which we can use selection sets. First, if you only want to see the objects in selection sets, we select the selection set from this drop down list and select Display All Members. This will show the objects of all the chosen selection sets in your graphical view. In this example, I can see all the objects of two selection sets of Left Creek and Bridge. Second, if you want to see the objects that are shared between multiple selection sets, we select the selection sets and select Display Only Common Member. In this example, I can see the objects that share the selection sets of Left Creek and Bridge. Thirdly, if you want to see only the objects that are not selected, in the drop-down list, we select Hide All Members. In this example, I can see all the objects that don't have the selection set of Left Creek and Bridge. In the Project Explorer, we can open the properties of the objects such as points, scans, and media files to see which selection sets they are under. For more information on working with selection sets, check out our video on selection sets. From the field, we collected several annotations, and these annotations can be seen as scan observations from the scan station each annotation was collected from. Let's take our annotation on LAMP2 as an example. In our graphical views, we can see an observation from scan station 5 to where the annotation was created on the LAMP. The annotations themselves come in as any normal points in TBC and the descriptions and labels, now called selection sets, you chose in the field will be shown in the properties of these points. We can navigate to the Project Explorer where we can see our annotations as points. And once you expand each point, you can see the scan observations nested under the points and any photographs of the annotations you took in the field as well. And if you desire, one could also add feature codes to the annotations just as any other point in TBC. And that concludes this video. Check out our next videos and see you next time.